Hello, Facebookers. Sharon Wait, what? Facebookers. Facebookers. <laughs> it just sounded weird. I thought you said face boogers. This is what I've been putting up I'm with. I'm sure you said face boogers. All boogers, day long. Sharon, Sharon Rose Vaznis here with some guy named Todd and Lee Goldberg Dude. and Zach Blanchard, this the is morning a family, crew, this is a family, family representing show. at the Santaford. We're calling it the Santaford That's because right, Sanford, Hannaford yeah. is too hard to say. Yeah. So, anyway, we've been having a great day here for Coats for Kids. Steady stream <laughs> of coats and toys. toys as well that and the kids and kids yeah. <laughs> mostly the kids um, we've had a lot of caffeine <laughs> yes, right? and sugar so well, people keep bringing us cookies and donuts oh and Those coffee Italian cookies so. from so, um, Italy. thanks i said italian cookies bob bob, bob. bob yeah uh, the the lemon italian cookies they were amazing so, they were yeah so actually they're right here but the reason we're actually here Thank collecting yeah. <laughs> toys and coats for needy families in the area so far our count is over a thousand coats more than 1200 toys and close to a thousand dollars in cash donations just from the Sanford area. So people are coming out and representing. Right? Yeah, and it has just been amazing to see the number of people come in. And we've talked about a lot of, I can't with these two, but I'm gonna, we're gonna keep talking. We're gonna pretend they're not there. I don't know who um, they are. So a lot of toys um, is like really the story of the day. And slippers and people think, pe things people don't think about. And a lot of handmade items as well. Yeah, um, there are even these cute little things. chairs that, is this like a yearly yeah, thing? But it doesn't get cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a guy who comes in and hand makes these chairs every single year. They're the little tiny ones and some medium sized ones. So, you know, for like a Barbie doll or a yeah. baby doll. And somebody put this, bought this cute little owl and put it in it. So, you know, it's so, just, yeah. it's an overload of cuteness and an overload of generosity. Because it's you're eating fair. and That's playing. Obvious. Well, what else? We, I mean, this All is right. a great day. Like, it's, <laughs> it's a celebration and we're get, doing some great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The, great the community here is amazing. The family's the community out. Here is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool, like like when the little ones, like this one here. Hi, sweetie. She's trying to get on TV. There you go. Come on in. But they 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 come up and they they you know they drop off little cute booties and all kinds of stuff. It's just great. Them? I showed the I showed the little chair. Mm, yeah. yeah. So nice. Yeah. It is. All right. So, so <laughs> we're Thanks. We're gonna be here. What time is it? Ten o'clock. We're gonna be here for a couple of more hours. All of the news center personalities at all the different locations around the state are going to be where they are for a couple of more hours, but you can continue to donate throughout the month. So the boxes for the coats will be up through the end of the month. The boxes for the toys will be up at Hannaford's Shaw's and Pratt Abbott locations around the state through the 15th so that the Salvation Army can get those toys out to families. Anything you wanted to add, Mr. Goldberg? Well, it's <laughs> Why are you tearing up? <laughs> I, just, I just can't. Uh, it's just awesome. It is. it is. Every time somebody shows up and people who spend all year making those chairs and knitting sweaters and scarves and mittens and so that they can come out to all the different locations on days like this and, and show us and give us and get... I just love it. It's just it's, yeah. it's an awesome, awesome day. My favorite thing that we do. So it's If you need to get in the holiday spirit, come see us because it's right here alive and well. And, and you'll I'm have some fun while, 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 you, while you come down yeah, here. Absolutely. Yeah, we're supposed to race these at some point, right? Oh, boy. Yes. Is that going to happen? Uh, let's huh? try not to break them <laughs> before wanna, they get to I want to talk. Some of you people are chiming in here on Facebook this morning, so let's just talk to them real quick. Nancy's yeah. asking where to take them nearish wells. I think we're the closest location well, that as far south. But, I mean, we're only like 20 them, minutes. But you can bring them wells. to the... Hanaford in Wells. Right? Yeah, yes. they're at every one of those. They're yeah. at every location across yep. the state. So. Hanaford Shaw's yeah. and Proud Abbott locations around the state. Yep. Yeah, not just the ones that we're at today, right. but, but yep. all of them. All yeah. of those locations. Yeah. So look out for those boxes. There's big signs, it's obvious. <laughs> um, and then Wendy's checking in for Livermore Falls, has a big bag ready. Yeah, we've had people. We had, who was the, it was Lebanon. Fire oh, Lebanon, rescue. yeah, the, the EMS the crew. Yeah, they, uh, they went around town and they had little drives and they, they came in with like four or five huge bags yeah. of of all kinds of, you know, snow pants. Snow pants is a big one. We always forget about snow pants, yeah. but every kid needs snow pants every season, and they grow so fast that you only get like one season out of them. I mean, so and you this just is, keep doing it. So, you know, we, we do this, <clears throat> you know, once a year, and, and we mark it on our calendars, but the fact that the state does too, right? Yeah. Like, they all wait for it. How many emails do we get in advance of today asking when's Coach for Kids, uh, Coach, Hello. Coach for Kids Day, right? Look at because that. Thank they you very much. It, and they Thanks. collect awesome. all year and they bring it out. So, you know, it's just, Perfect. again, it's just amazing and it's I'll heartfelt. Right here. And it's a steady stream you, like this Where all the from? time. And they're so happy to give. They have so stuff, much. they want to give it, um, whether it's one code oh, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, know, so okay. it's just, it's really awesome. Yeah. So, so it's good great stuff. thank you. And this is happening all around the state, including in Bangor. So let's check in there now. 
Hey, Sharon. Yep, we are here in Bangor. Pretty steady stream here as well. It was actually a woman that just came in to, um, you know, get her her cart to go grocery shopping, and she actually was like, oh, today you're collecting coats. So she gave us a few coats that she had out in her car just waiting for the day that we were collecting. This looks great. So it's, it's been a pretty steady stream here. Um, yep. We have a whole bunch of toys and things, too. I know Todd was just talking about the importance of snow pants, but there's also... The importance for boots and Snoopy, of course. Um, so, you know, we're collecting all kinds of things like this uh, throughout the state and things like that. Mm -hmm. Coats and toys is why we're here for today. Um, all ages, boys, girls, and we couldn't do this without your help, nor without Rebecca's help from the Salvation Army. Rebecca, how do you guys distribute the coats? So all of the um, new children's coats that come in, they're going to be given out at our distribution on the December 19th. So when parents come in to collect the toys for their children, they're also going to receive new coats, hats, and gloves, all those things that are donated. Um, and then all of the used things, they'll be cleaned by Pratt Abbott and then sent back up into our area. So anybody who's in need of a coat is able to come right to our 65 South Park Street location. Just say, I need a coat. And uh, we have them all hung up. We have them organized. They're able to come in and select something. Thing that works for them and the awesome thing is is anything that doesn't get used this year comes right back out in the beginning of October so while we're just doing this in December we've already been giving out coats for two months so wow. it is an amazing program that just has a, such a difference for months on end awesome what is the highest priority of items needed this year we always need coats uh, for children, size between like 8 and 16. Those are our most commonly requested. Obviously, teenagers, a lot of our kids wear uh, adult size coats. So, you know, if you have an adult size coat, a teenager is the perfect recipient for that. Um, as was mentioned, snow pants are huge. Kids can't play out at recess if there's snow on the ground unless they have snow pants. So we want to make sure that every kid has the opportunity not just to be warm, but to play with their friends. We don't want them to feel as if they're left out because they don't have what they need. Um, another big thing that we do with our coats is we take them out onto our homeless outreach. So for many of people that are living in a situation of homeless, having an opportunity to have a clean, dry coat, um, the uh, mittens and gloves and hats that are made for us, we take those out as well. So not all of the coats go for kids. Exactly. You know, um, as much as this is a Coats and Toys for Kids program, you know, we have tons of adults that need coats, whether they're able to come to our building, whether they're out on the street, you know. For us, we know that being warm in winter is a high priority, and so we try to make sure that everybody gets covered with coats. Awesome. And we were also receiving some toys here. We have Mr. Potato Head. Um, Jackie, what else do we have? We had Snoopy. Snoopy. We already talked about Let's see. We have some Marvel toys. Those movies are coming Santa back. Santa Claus, everything. Things are rolling here. Um, at the what, Shaws in Bangor. Yep, we'll be here all day till about noon. We'll be here. We'll be at other locations across the state ready to collect your gently used um, or new coats and toys. The toys, um, we talked a little bit, Rebecca, we talked a little bit earlier that we say unwrapped toys, but that doesn't mean, you know, unwrapped of the... Um, the wrapping that it comes in, like the exactly. toy container, yes. Yes. Um, but it's wrapping paper. What can people do if they really, really love Christmas wrapping yeah, paper? absolutely. We know that, of course, the gifts are going to have to be wrapped by somebody for Christmas. And so um, if people want to donate wrapping paper, what we do is the day we distribute the toys, we make the wrapping paper available for parents. So some of them may already have it, but if they come in and they don't have wrapping paper, we let them take the wrapping paper with the gifts. So for some people, that might be a fun little way to give in addition to just a toy. And we're happy to make sure that that gets right to the parents that needed this Christmas season. Great. Perfect. Thank you, Rebecca. And we're, you know, we're, like I said, locations across the state. We are heading to Augusta. We have members of our weather team there and Don Kerrigan. What's up, guys? Hello, guys. Look who we found. Hi. It's Rob. <laughs> I should like introduce her. It's Rob Caldwell's mother-in-law, Bobby. Hi. Hello. And you just brought us this lovely donation here. I did. Thank I we like to donate every year. It's a wonderful cause. We appreciate everything that you all do. Awesome. Thank you so much. We saw, I remember we saw you last year and you brought us yeah. something else. So. I was here last year too. It's awesome. Yeah. Is, well, there, thank is you. there any reason that you're not going to see uh, Rob uh, personally? So. <laughs> well, I didn't really feel like driving all the way to Auburn today. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I just wanted to make sure that everything was cool. Yeah, I was right about right. a mile from here. Oh, so. perfect, perfect. We, we wouldn't drive there for yeah. him either. Any, so. any, mess <laughs> any message to him? Any message to Rob? Keep doing what you're doing. We love you, and we'll see you on Christmas. Aww, How about that? That's awesome. Good relationship. Good. Yeah. Um, all right. So 
In the meantime, we've got a lot of good donations here so far, a lot of toys. Of course, Big Al came by earlier and dropped off what he calls his, his sleigh or his sled of uh, toys. Uh, and then people have been coming in and, and uh, individually dropping some off. We had uh, a bunch of kids come through too, right? They were part of a, a class. And now Don's doing the real work here behind me. What do yeah. we got here? We have some great folks from Jefferson who just brought us two baskets full a brand new item, a pair of boots, some mittens, some other kinds of clothing. Very kind, very generous. Thanks very much. Yeah, we got a, a lot of clothing. Um, boots, hats, and mittens this year have been hot. A lot of people yeah. knit their own mittens. Um, I don't know how those kind of skills, everything. but we've had socks. I mean, we've had warm socks. We've had tons of toys this year. We have how many baskets now? One, two, three, almost four baskets of toys, which is awesome. We've already taken tons of coats already too, and loaded them on the truck. So. We're doing pretty well. We are doing well. And the other thing we mentioned is this seems to be the year of the home knitters here, yeah. here at the, in Augusta. This is just some of the home knit uh, material and items brought to us. These Here we have just dozens and dozens of crocheted hats underneath them. I don't dare pull them out. <laughs> or a whole bunch of uh, hand knit mittens. Uh, some of these came from the teachers at the Chelsea School. A uh, wonderful woman from Hollowell brought us in a whole nother batch of it. Um, and, and we've had a, a, at least five or six people have brought us in hand-knit items, lots of them. So it's, it's been thank great. you very much. Also, um, don't forget you can do cash, and I'd like to show you our sketchy little envelope. Um, so what happened, what had happened was um, we didn't have an official Salvation Army uh, thing in time, so this is what we did. And if there's nothing that tells you the trust that we have as a brand is that people will put money in this and uh, trust that it'll get there. It will get there. Yeah. For a while, Jess was just stuffing it in her jacket. Then they told um, me not to do and so, yeah, so this is good too because a lot yeah. of people show up and don't realize we're here. Right. I was going to just say, we yeah. just had a woman come through. She was so sweet. She gave us $100 and she said she doesn't have any kids, but she likes to do this every year. And I, she, I remember her from last year. So yeah. that was awesome. We're getting a ton of donations. You get a lot of toys for 100 bucks, So yeah. uh, it's good stuff. I don't know if Don has anything else to add because he's over there doing doing his Don thing. Don's the main attraction yeah. here. No Good surprise. He's, here. he's keeping us, no. us together. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to Newport, Newport yeah. now. All right. Um, I wish I knew who was there, but I don't. So let's just go there. <laughs> hey, Keith. Hey, it's Samantha here. Uh, and hey, Facebook Livers. Uh, I'm here with Major Kim Harris of the Salvation Army. And we're talking about the need, really, for donations this holiday season. What is that need like right now? The need continues to increase every year, actually. And of course, with the frigid temperatures of Maine, uh, a great need for winter wear. Uh, we were just talking about the gloves. And gloves seem to be a an, an, an never-ending issue with children. They need warm gloves but they seem to lose gloves. Somebody said they had two left-handed gloves to shovel their snow, right? But kids seem to lose them and go through them. Kids also outgrow their coats constantly and wear them out. So these things are very greatly needed uh, more and more. And what we're seeing is a deeper uh, and increasing need with working families who are struggling to make ends meet. They're working hard, working two, three jobs often and their kids have coats that are too small or you know, their coats have worn out. And of course we have a great, a sad, homeless population in our area. And can you imagine being outside uh, in this weather without warm winter wear? And this is exactly why we need it so much. It's truly unimaginable. Um, and we got a huge donation just a few moments ago, too, of a bunch of kids' gloves, which right. was great. They were all already clipped together, together <laughs> because we were talking about how kids always need the clips with their gloves or else they'll lose them. Um, but we're also talking about um, toys as well. Right. And the toys right. are going to be donated this year while the coats will be cleaned next year um, right. and donated next year. But let's talk about some of the toys we've seen. Yeah, yeah I saw some Toy Story. You know, how can you not love Buzz Lightyear, right? And of course, good old games are wonderful to bring families together, it's so important today. Uh, get off technology and enjoy a great game together. But of course, there's nothing better as well on Christmas morning for a child to open a new gift and to have that joy and as well, again, for those working families who are struggling to just pay their electric bill or pay their mortgage payment or put gas in their car to get back and forth to work. 
they can't necessarily buy those toys for their kids, but they want to be able to give them something. And so that brings great, great joy as well to the parents to be able to see their children have that experience. And for so many, it's just for a year, you know, that they need this help. Others are just living in poverty constantly, so they need to help more often. But toys for kids, it just brings them a great imagination, right? Increases their imagination, gets them off of technology and interacting with other kids. So toys bring that excitement as well on that Christmas morning. What is it like for you personally to see families lifting their spirits to be able to give their kids these toys this Christmas? Well, <laughs> I could tell you many stories, but I recall uh, a one particular incident when we were handing a family a box of gifts, it was toys and some clothing articles and they got a new coat as well and what we saw from them was tears of joy. Just they could not believe that the community gave so much through the Salvation Army so that they could give their children this, both needs and wants, you know, special gifts. But it's such, you see this like lifting off of their shoulders and then the tears of joy just start to flow and gratitude and they just express it. We've received letters and cards after Christmas uh, thanking us just for giving to them so that their children could have a great Christmas and we appreciate that. Thank you, Major Kim Harris with the Salvation Army. I'm going to send things over to all of our friends here, <laughs> Chloe and Sean. And uh, Sean, actually, you spent some time with these Beanie Babies earlier, pretending to be one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> How can you not with some of the look that these Beanie Babies have? They're in pristine condition, and they're going to be so fun for some of these kids to get to open up this holiday season and get to see what is a dinosaur that I thought was a dog at first, but it's Chloe, <laughs> Chloe, it's more than just Beanie Babies that we have so far. Yeah, we have a ton of toys right now, um, and games too, like you were mentioning, are so important just to be interactive, kids with their families. Um, and this box is pretty full with toys right now, but of course we are accepting more and more coats too. Um, and I'm going to point out these two sets hanging on the front. Um, a really kind man donated a full set, a coat with gloves, mittens and snow pants too and that's something to keep in mind um, we know coats for kids obviously it's in the name but snow pants are really important just to make sure kids are staying warm if they're going outside for recess in the snow yeah everything is important and making that smile is what's important too and what better toy to get than Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. There's so much fun happening out here today in Newport, and we're going to be out here until noon. So if you have toys that you may be uh, looking to donate and you have uh, gently used coats, bring those down here to the Hannaford on the Moosehead Trail in Newport. We'll be here until noon. But now let's send it over to some of our friends from 207 in Auburn. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? We're doing great here in Auburn. We've been here since... 6 a.m. and we've had a steady stream of people coming in and dropping off toys and coats and for me the funnest part has been seeing the little kids who are coming in with their parents because this is a time of year when they're writing their Christmas lists and they're used to getting but they're practicing giving and they have picked out their own toys and they've put them under the tree and you know there's not always there's a little hesitation sometimes when they give the toy away but it is great that they're learning this lesson of giving back to other kids who are a little bit less fortunate yep. it's always fun we've had some cute kids Lenny Arabella from Auburn I think from Turner from Turner we had Cole and his brother Tanner so that's been fun to see my favorite part has been since we are in Auburn, which is widely known as the Gateway to Turner, which is widely known as the hometown of Amanda Hill. So we've had all these people coming through and they're coming in the parking lot and Amanda's face just lights up because she knows one out of every seven people coming through the door here. It's one out true. of every three, Rob. Let's, <laughs> let's get it right, okay. Uh, to be fair, most of them are my family. So, yeah. yeah. Family and friends, family and friends. <laughs> And cheerleaders, and cheerleaders. Yeah. yeah. A lot of Levitt grads coming into Shaw's and donating, so thanks for that, guys. One of the things that is always cool is that you get stories from people who come in to drop things off. And one of my favorite stories that I've heard so far this morning, Melanie and Kathy, two sisters from Lewiston, who set out at the beginning of the year to knit one cap 
a week. So they wanted to do 52 hats for kids that they could drop off. Well, they did better than that. They ended up with 76, and they came in with three bags, 76 hand-knit hats. I don't, think, I don't think that was one of them, was this but else? it yeah. was like that. Yeah. And again, beautiful love that goes into that. Yep, and we met uh, George St. Hel Hilaire, and he is, works at BIW, and he wanted to challenge all his BIW coworkers to come down and give a, a coat or a toy for Coats for Kids. No pressure, no pressure at all right there. We want about 5,000 employees at BIW, 5,000 coats, we'll take those, we'll take those. We also, I, know, I heard Johnny, our photographer, challenging a couple of different members from fire departments in the area because we had a guy named John Roy from Auburn Fire who came in very early on when it was still dark out and left us a nice monetary donation for the Salvation Army. And so Johnny, I think, challenged Bodenham Fire. Is that right? Yep. Yep. So, you know, anybody who wants to come out and take part in this challenge, we're here until noontime. One of the more unusual gifts is a gentleman who came by, has come by twice with a plastic multivitamin container filled with pennies, which he gives to the Salvation Army. So that's great. There's a bell ringer who's 25 feet away from us. I don't know if you can hear the bell, but uh, we'll take Thank the cash. You. It goes directly to the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army, of course, distributes the coats and the toys as well. Fred Abbott cleans the gently used coats, so it all goes out to kids who need them across Maine. And they started in October getting those coats to kids, so really good effort there. By the way, toy donations. We've had some bikes. We've had three bicycles donated so far. Sure, Let me but get take out of the a look way. at this, because this is a serious bike with a helmet uh, that. Just a know, serious helmet. Just, uh, I don't know why we didn't. Maybe we'll put that on. Maybe one of us will on. model that later, later in the morning. How Actually, about Beth did. We have a boomerang on my Instagram and on Twitter. All right. Yep, there there we go. you go. So we're going to be here till noon as uh, everyone will be at all the various other outposts. I think we're going to throw things now to our friends in Waterville, Lee Nelson, Cindy Williams, and Vivian Lee. How are things where you are, guys? Okay, you want me to do that? They're heavy. It's, it's just heavy lifting here in Waterville. We're at the, yeah, actually, I'm not going to. We're, we're here at the Elf <laughs> Checkout Express at the Hannaford in Elm Plaza in Waterville. Again, yep, me and Cindy and Viv. And uh, boy, it started slow, but it has picked up like crazy. People are coming in. And what I think is really, really interesting, Rob was just talking about a, you know, the stories that people tell. A lot of people have told us stories. So many people want to make their donation and quietly leave. They don't want their names out there, and certainly will respect that. Um, but that kind of speaks to who Mainers are, really. It's really amazing. They just want to quietly help others and not have any you know, applause or adulation for it. So we appreciate that. We also appreciate you. If you want to come on camera, we're going to talk to some folks in a minute, but I have to make a delivery over here onto our thing. Oh. <laughs> so there you go. And here's Viv and Cindy with some friends too. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll well, hold Janet it and I believe her husband just walked in. You got that, Cindy? Oh my goodness. Check this out. Check this out, Sanford. Check this out, Augusta. Check this out, Auburn. No. We are really bringing it here in Waterville. Oh my goodness. Look, look. This is here. This is Janet from recently Falmouth, now Oakland. What do you have here in the box? Here, I'll take them back here. Fisher Price Farmhouse. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yes. It's going to go over here to our really, and I'm incredible really toys. Oh, thank you so much. Because that was always my children's and grandchildren's one of their favorite toys. Well, thank you so much so, for coming out today. Why did you, you want to come out and help us today? Uh, I do it every year because I really think it's important. I had a time in my life when I had nothing and the JCs had to give me a Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. So, you know, and I can do it now, so yes. I do. Yes, thank you so much. And that's just going to add to an amazing list of toys that Cindy's going to tell us about. Cindy yes. had the privilege to meet another gentleman who came in and donated some amazing toys besides your help as well. And, so yeah. thank and you. I've known, not well, but I've known Cindy and Lee for years. <laughs> <laughs> Her son and my grandson went to school together. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Was, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So thank you for that. You're that welcome anytime. Thank Beautiful. you. Thank you. I, I just had wanted to share two toys that came in that I just think are amazing. First off, I have not seen one of these. I don't know if you guys have. Chess set Red Sox versus Yankees. I'm sorry, that is awesome. Only, who's going to want to be the Yankees? 
we're not going to go there. Anyway, the other thing I want to talk about, we had a gentleman come in. He made these wooden airplanes. I don't know if you can see the beautiful dowel work, but he didn't want us to use his name, but underneath it is stamped, uh, crafted with the hands guided by the carpenter's son which made me really tear up. It's a beautiful, beautiful gift to, to two really lucky kids who I know will appreciate this this Christmas. So I guess, is that it for, for us? Yeah, Come on. We're going to talk a little bit to our elves that have been helping us out all morning. Yes. We've got Dee Dee. Hi. And Jen. Hi. And Jen um, Simpson's been our site manager. So we're going to have a little manager. update. Yep. Again, I was kind of bragging about us earlier because we've really seen a lot of things come in. But how are we doing so far? We're we really making a big hit in, in the cash department in the we'll cash we it. have about uh, well I've kind of lost count actually <laughs> the last I checked it was over three hundred and sixty dollars in cash we were at 50 coats but literally in the last 20 minutes we probably had a hundred come in so I would your say folks came in too. my parents from were here in the here, Waterville area my 12 year old some friends come in you yep. guys, your yep. son. it's great Good job, Waterville. Keep it going. But we're not we're not finished yet. We're still yep. going to be here for another about an hour and a half. And again, all the money that folks are donating goes to all the amazing programs yep. that Salvation Army does. You know, they're feeding the homeless. They're doing yep. lots of neat things. And also, while you're here, as an incentive, you can sign up to do what? You can sign up to win tickets to the Magical Mystery Tour. That's going to be December 28th at Merrill Auditorium. We're picking five winners from each site. So we'd love to see some folks win it. All right, great. Well, we're going to be sending it to Portland, I understand, where Pat Calhoun, Samantha York, and Beth Brogan are standing by at Pratt Abbott Cleaners, right? Hi, guys. I know Hi. you Hi. Thanks. Uh, it's oh, wow. funny because we are at the Pratt Abbott Cleaners. Yep. And we're the, everyone else is at a supermarket. We're here. <laughs> we're just inundated with toys, some that make you want to <laughs> sing. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that was for Jess Yoyo, our producer. <laughs> uh, but, so many toys. Well, well it, it's, it's, it's really astounding. Beth and I are going to show you a few of them because uh, we had the uh, Odd Fellows Lodges from Portland and right. South Portland Came come over. Came in with a wagon Santa sleigh. and Mrs. Claus delivered right? them personally, they did? which was kind of a thrill for me. <laughs> I've met a lot of people in my, my work. But it was like um, 10 or 12 trips back and oh, forth yeah. to bring now, all this stuff it, in. It raises, there's philosophical questions that come from some of these toys. For example, there's Connect Four, then there's Frozen Connect Four. <laughs> so what's the difference? Are the rules different? Do you have to be singing Let It Go? Let it or when go. you lose, you let it go, I guess. Yeah, That's what happens here. I think here. so. Uh, so th there's that. And then, of course, so the Frozen toys are big. Someone said this was modeled after me, but I really think they really mean that one was. But you know. There's a lot of Star Wars, it seems. Oh, An Star awful Wars lot awesome. of Star yeah. Wars. Because uh, we've got... Uh, Star Wars yeah, Monopoly. Captain uh, Phasma here, so he's... Um, <laughs> but but here's the thing. That there's, it's, it's so great. Uh, Stur uh, Springer's Jewelers was here as well, and they, yes. do, they spent $5,000 buying toys. They didn't bring them all here because right. we wouldn't be able to fit in this room if they had. But there, uh, through now through December 15th, if you want to drop off a new unwrapped toy at any Shaw's or Hannaford or Pratt Abbott, you can do that, and they're going to be placed under somebody's tree on Christmas Day. The coats are going to be taken and cleaned and dealt with all through the next year, and that's a huge process in, in and of itself. Yeah. And you, you can have them, don't, those can come in until the end of the year, the end right? Of, Not the end of the December. December 15th. Right, yeah, Deadline. until the end of the year. Yeah. But we want to know more about how that process works. Yeah, let's talk to Emily. Emily works here with Pratt Abbott. So the coats that go out this year are actually from last year. Why is that? That is because up in the county, it is um, it gets colder early in the year, and depending on the weather, it um, snow may come in October. So a lot of the kids need coats earlier in the year, okay. and most people aren't thinking about donating until it comes time around coats for kids time in December. So we start a year in advance and we're cleaning the 2019 coats right now to distribute for next winter when it starts. So what kind of process is that like for you guys? That's a lot of work. Yes, so once the coats are all collected, they go to our big warehouse in Westbrook and we sort them into new coats and used coats. And the new coats we distribute as soon as possible. Um, the old coats or the used coats, we will wash, and if there are um, minor repairs, we'll do those as well. Um, and then we bag them loosely by um, kids' coats for its adult coats. One misconception of coats for kids is that it's just kids' coats. We take mm. any size. Um, adults often need coats as well. Right. The parents, the kids, often don't have a coat, especially if they are new to Maine. 
Right. Um, so we bag them up, and then when the Salvation Army or another organization asks for coats, we will give them coats, and they can distribute them to whoever needs them. Which is just awesome. And That's thank a phenomenal you. commitment yeah. that Pratt Abbott makes to the community by doing this. So. Our thanks to you Thank for you so, <coughs> all these so years. Thank you so much. Yeah. So that's going to do it from here Hold for on, now. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I wanted notice? to see if anybody would notice, but <laughs> I love cats. If you guys didn't now, know, <laughs> we saw Sam Rogers. <laughs> Sam Rogers had a cat sweater on. His was in more Bangor. epic than mine, yeah. and I'm, well, I'm he really did some sad. handiwork. Right. There. <laughs> some very special handiwork. <laughs> we love it. Uh, that's it for our Facebook Live. We'll see you back on the o TV for you old-fashioned people at 11:30, <laughs> and we hope we see you in person because we'll be here till noon. So come on by. We're at Pratt Abbott on uh, Forest Avenue in Portland, and uh, revel in all of the toys and coats. Thanks, guys.